step function question examples based on AWS data engineer topics by Abilid. We offer cloud service introductions exam question explanations and practicing of real exams. Question 1. How do you least overhead update a Lambda and its variables with minimal disruption? Parameter modification in Lambda code without testing causes app update interruptions. Also storing parameters in S3 increases complexity and overhead. Better is to invoke latest Lambda version via function alias without interruptions. Question 2. How do you efficient auto-update Lambda functions with custom Python scripts for data formatting? Pointing to each custom Python is impractical. Besides, you can't set environment variables in S3. In contrast, Lambda layer including latest Python script are used by all Lambda functions to auto-inherit the updates. Question 3. How do you scalable process rapid changing large data in DynamoDB for clients efficient API access? Don't limit scalability with API gateway integration in DynamoDB and OpenSearch is impractical for simple retrievals. Not better is EBS caching with limited scaled EC2 compute. Most advisable is to reduce DynamoDB load with Lambda caching for streamings with API gateway updates to clients. Question 4. How do you realize a cost-effective IoT streaming with Lambda for no load off peaks and high fluctuations? Lambda's default concurrency doesn't avoid cold starts, and Kinesis Firehose is only for non-critical processing. Furthermore, reserved concurrency can't scale down to zero to save costs. The solution is to maintain warm instances with adjustable provision concurrency for instant response. Question 5. How do you secure store a relational product catalog for APIs with fluctuations and peaks? Don't store relational product catalog in DynamoDB and RDS with EC2 is slow with costly overhead. Moreover, Aurora with ECS Fargate Container Management is impractical. You better scale fluctuating APIs with low overhead Lambda and relational RDS for product catalog. Question 6. How do you set up IAM permissions for CloudFront deployment with CLI of Lambda and API Gateway? You can't grant permissions with CloudFront and direct embedded access keys in Lambda is highly insecure. Additionally, granting permissions with administrator policy violates least privileges. Instead limit Lambda function permissions with an IAM role. Question 7. How do you most secure connect Lambda functions to a RDS database in a private subnet? Insecure is to allow all traffic from VPC sitter block to RDS and security group doesn't solve cross VPC connectivity. Also, I am role and attached policy can't be used to connect to RDS. Most advisable is to redeploy Lambda function in same RDS subnet with its security group to allow Lambda. Question 8. How do you monitor real-time jobs processing large-scale unstructured S3 data? Neither step functions nor QuickSight or X-Ray provide monitoring and alerting services. You best process with event-based Lambda, CloudWatch health checks, and SNS subscribed notifications. Hold on a minute. If you like this channel and its free content to continue, please subscribe to it on the right bottom button. Question 9. How do you mask private near real-time data before storing in S3 data lake? Wrong is to mask private data upfront with Macy, and server-side inception doesn't handle private data. Not better is to integrate Amazon Comprehend API with Kinesis. In contrast, you can apply Lambda function for on-the-fly masking. Question 10. How do you effective realize a scalable streaming analytics of IoT telemetry and with batched redshift? Avoid to employ DynamoDB for streaming analytics and QuickSight doesn't ingest streams. Furthermore, EMR is for big data but unsuitable for streaming analytics. With Kinesis data streams you can ingest for streaming analytics with Lambda before Kinesis Firehose batches to Redshift. Question 11. How do you on-demand process semi-structured datasets in parallel to S3 with a serverless solution? 
Wrong is to use the inline mode with JSON as only input and parallel state executes only same inputs. Moreover, Lambda isn't adequate for this large-scale orchestration. Better is to process large datasets in parallel with step functions map state for auto-scaled distribution. Question 12. How do you most efficient manage batched processing jobs with auto-retries for computational intense tasks? Neither Elastic Beanstalk nor EC2 auto-scaling with EventBridge provide streaming and batching. The same is true for EMR Big Data Processing, DynamoDB, and CloudWatch Monitoring. In contrast, AWS Batch Auto provisions compute resources for step functions orchestration of jobs. Question 13. How do you most efficient orchestrate with retries of Glue ETL jobs for multi-sourcing and transformation to Redshift? It's inefficient to use Lambda for long-running ETL jobs and managed airflow workflow requires substantial setup. Also, event-driven event bridge is impractical for complex ETL workflows. Most advisable is to orchestrate multi-step workflow with step functions state management, auto-retries, and error handling. Question 14. How do you process a large serial pipeline with retries for multiple relational database sources and schema transformation? Wrong is to ingest multiple relational database sources with Kinesis Firehose or DataSync and customized retries with Airflow is unsuitable. Not better is to migrate large data with Glue Data Brew. The solution is to migrate relational databases with DMS to transform with Glue and to integrate with Step Functions Retry Logic. Question 15. How do you most cost-effective orchestrate daily Athena queries running more than 15 minutes? Unsuitable is to use Glue Python scripts with fixed sleep timer costs and Glue job is inadequate for short and fast running jobs. Furthermore, managed airflow workflows is costly with limited performance. You better run short tasks with low-cost overhead lambda orchestrated by step function states in parallel. With the understanding of lambda and step functions for data engineers, you are ready now for more details. We wish you further insights with Abilid videos.